looks like Sister Brienne got cold there, had to go get her jacket on. 71, I think, in here. <laughs> All right, well, 1 Corinthians chapter number 14, chapter number 14, and um, I don't know if these scriptures I will read tonight will do um, my, uh, my little thought here justice, but... Uh, 1 Corinthians 14. I want to read just a couple little verses here. But let me tell you that, that Paul is dealing with distractions and things going on. Too many tongues. And uh, we don't have that problem here. Too many messages in tongues. And so we don't really have that problem right now. Thank God. But they, uh, how they have... They, they, talk about different things that are going on. So he introduces these words. He says in verse number, uh, um, let's see, let's, let's start uh, in 29. Let the prophet speak two or three and let the other judge. If anything be revealed to another that sitteth by, let the first hold his peace. He's given some direction. For ye may all prophesy one by one, that all may learn and all may be comforted. And the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. Amen. So basically, you know, uh, there, there's, um, you can hold back long enough. The Lord is not going to quit dealing with you. It's just because you, uh, you tried to hold off till somebody else was done being used to the Lord. Take turns. Amen. But he says, and the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. All right. But God is not the author of confusion. I'm going to read to you also from 1 Peter chapter number 5 to give you the other side of this, um, of this coin here. Amen. Uh, first Peter chapter five and a well known verse in verse eight. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil has a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Your adversary, the devil, has a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. How's a roaring lion? Amen. Now, there's a, there, there's these, this, this thought here tonight. And I know that Paul was dealing with spiritual uh, confusions, not necessarily the uh, devil doing things, maybe other than using the confusion being caused by the flesh of these folks. To, uh, uh, to influence people. But we do know that there were many divisions. There were many things that took place. Just like there are today. Amen. Just like there are today. And this devil walks about. Has a roaring lion. We know that the devil ha has only as much leeway. Amen. As God will allow him to have in your life. We know that the blood protects your life from many things. We know that we're going to go through things that God is going to protect us from. We know there's going to be things that he censors from us, if you will. Amen. That we'll never even know anything about. Amen. But if the Lord will help me tonight, I'd like to talk to you about controlling. Amen. Controlling. Uh, well, I just lost the word now. Um, the narrative, controlling the narrative. Hey, Amen. This devil, he likes to try to control the narrative. Hey, Amen. If you go to, uh, if you, all you have to do is look at history. You can go many years back, or you can go more recently. Uh, hey, Amen. To uh, Hitler, and and you can go to uh, uh, to Japan. And you'll find that during, especially during World War II, amen, that they tried uh, a thing called propaganda. 
They try to, they, they push it in their nation. Uh, amen. And by sheer overwhelming of the mind, they were able to convince a lot of people to join their cause. They convinced a lot of people in Germany that they were a special race because of the publications, because of the media outlets. Amen. Once Hitler gained control of those media outlets, he began to form a movement. And what would happen in Hitler's regime was that they would also, when they would go and take control of a territory that was not formally theirs, they would flood that territory with propaganda all through the war from the beginning to the end they told those folks that the allies were being stopped they told them we're advancing every day. We haven't lost any. Uh, they would they would fudge the numbers of how many soldiers had been lost uh, in their army versus the other. Uh, there were radio programs uh, that were constantly blasting, uh, saying the Americans are on the run, or or England or the Allies are on the run. Uh, amen. They convinced a lot of people. Uh, story after story. I, I've read a few. Uh, Amen. Stories from uh, that day in which folks, uh, amen, that were in a, a, a country or a territory in which that Germany overtook, uh, or one of the, you know, the Axis forces overtook, uh, amen, they, they would, uh, they, they would begin to blast that propaganda to the point where people, even the strongest of wills, would begin uh, to lose hope. And when the, when the uh, Americans or the Allied forces would come through uh, and retake that territory, uh, they'd ask them, is there any hope? Right. What, what is going on out there? Uh, you know, aren't you getting whooped? You know, basically, uh, we've heard this and we've heard that. Uh, amen. And, the, and then the truth would come out. No, uh, they're retreating over here. Uh, we're fighting battles over there. Uh, they are not. Uh, but the thing is, is that Germany uh, and, and Hitler's regime, they co- they completely controlled uh, the narrative. Uh, and uh, even the, those, fo- those folks could say, uh, well, we knew it couldn't be trusted. But after so long of it, we don't know. We didn't know what was true anymore. We we hadn't heard any any truth in so long, and we began to believe the lies that we were being fed. Amen. And that's the way it is. There's a starvation in this world. Amen. There's a starvation in your heart, even at times. Amen. Because the devil controls, and he's trying to. Control the narrative. Uh, he's telling you all sorts of things, uh, amen, about what's going on. Uh, amen, he's telling you all sorts of things uh, about the troubles that you're in, uh, about what God wants and doesn't want, uh, what's God's will and not God's will. Uh, amen, about the fate of the country and what's not the fate. Uh, amen, he's got so many lies interwoven uh, around. Uh, amen, you can look real easy sometimes and find it. Uh, amen. Find uh, that he even contradicts himself. Uh, amen. But he's controlling uh, the narrative. He's like this roaring lion. Right. He's like the roaring lion that is uh, trying to bluff everybody, to scare everybody. Controlling uh, what is going on, uh, Amen. If he can keep truth silent, uh, Amen, and tell his uh, and b- blast out his own lies, uh, it's only a matter of time. Uh, he's creating confusion, uh, Amen. He creates confusion uh, until folks begin to doubt uh, what they know about God, uh, Amen. I've told you before about this American general uh, who got captured and put, uh, Amen, in a Japanese prison camp and this this soldier was in there and day after day they come in we're winning they tell that general you're losing so many casualties uh, uh, were estimated uh, on the on, on your side of the aisle and they, they feed him 
believed his lies every day. And every day he'd hold out. They were trying to break him. Amen. And they were starving him. And he's just getting weaker and weaker and weaker. And every day they're feeding these lies. And they're trying to get him to believe what they're telling him. Amen. And when it finally came where he didn't believe, he truly didn't think he could last another day. What night about two in the morning? Amen. There came a, a, a knock at his little, at his prison cell window. Amen. And there was that soldier who had been sent to find out whether the general was still alive. And he, and he was tapping on that window. And that general went to that little window. And that, that, that soldier said, Sir, he, he said, we're, we're, about, we're going to take this facility tomorrow. We need to find out where you were so we can rescue you. But we're coming in tomorrow. We drove them all back. He told him the truth. He, man, the truth was fixing to set him free. He, man, and that night, that next morning, even when that general woke up and his captors walked into the room and they began to tell him all their lies, that general summoned strength up from inside of him and he began to tell his captors, no, you're going to do what I tell you to do today. Amen. Because I heard last night, amen, that everything you've been telling me is a lie. Amen. And they're coming. Sure enough, he was rescued that very day. It's time you and I, amen, tune our ear to God. And we begin to hear the truth. And we allow the truth to set us free. Amen. He's trying to control the narrative. Control uh-huh. it. I was going not. I was uh, going to avoid, you know, making this reference, but we even see it in our country when uh, with uh, with our media and how controlled it is. Yeah. And some folks look at, you know, probably think I'm crazy, but they they term us conspiracy theorists and things like that. But there's so much corruption in this world that folks are are unbelievably blind to it. Hey man, so much big money controls everything that you and I know. Hey man, uh, we we hear uh, a primarily a unified uh, dividing message. Uh, from one side and most of the media outlets, uh, amen, that are out there controlling the narrative. Uh, amen. As soon as things, you, you've watched it, and let me just make this one reference, uh, amen, I'm not trying to be controversial here, but let me just make one reference. We had this shooting uh, just here, just, just in Orlando, not too long ago. Uh, and so to, I think it was today that the president uh, addressed it uh, and uh, talked talked about this shooter, this murderer, uh, and uh, even though this guy is a radical Muslim and things, uh, he will, the, the, nothing was said about terrorism, nothing was said about radical Islam, he was just a murderer and a thief and a lowlife, that was that, uh, amen, and, and, uh, and to me I'm looking, and we've seen that pattern, now I have to just look back, they will not call these things radical a terrorist attack or, or related to Islam they will not do that uh, amen they will they, they're controlling the narrative uh, they're trying to control uh, the narrative they're trying they really are amen trying to, uh, to change people's perspective uh, and so you have those out there that are rising up uh, and there, there's an outcry against this corruption we see that uh, just in, in this election cycle uh, in which the people don't want somebody from the establishment anymore. They want an outsider. They want somebody uh, amen that they feel is going to buck the system uh, that has become corrupt. Uh, Amen. Uh, And uh, So let me just turn that around and say I'd like to see people today uh, amen in the kingdom of God uh, that say you know what 
Amen. This prince, this power, the power of the air, uh, this ruler of darkness. Uh, amen. That's trying to control us. Uh, amen. These dark clouds that are overflowing our people, uh, overflowing our nation, uh, overflowing our church, uh, overflowing our family, uh, overcoming our lives. Uh, we're going to buck the system a little bit. Uh, amen. Lord, uh, I know there's a famine of hearing the word of God. Uh, amen. But would you let the truth uh, reign free here? Uh, amen. For uh, those who know the truth, uh, the truth shall set them free. Uh, and he whom the sun sets free uh, is free indeed. Uh, amen.